Today, I want to tell you about a giant brain that dominates the finances. The story of spending $200 billion in one night. The week before Christmas, the National Security Agency was on the chase for a serial bomber. He was very dangerous, but it was as if he had disappeared. They can't find him, so they turn to Bob, the artificial intelligence brain. This biological brain is connected to a satellite. It can monitor the lives of people around the world. Recently, he's been having psychological problems. Whenever he sees a prisoner, he gets stuck. They had to bring in psychologist Lee to do counseling work. She was going home to spend Christmas with her family. But instead, she was put in a black hood. She was brought into the mysterious facility. She was surprised when she saw Bob. From the looks of it, he was made up of a layer of flesh tissue. It looked like an open piece of the cerebral cortex. It required a researcher with a brush to clean up the mucus he excretes every day. Only one small eye. How disgusting it looks. Let people straight goosebumps. Despite his ugly appearance, Bob is a technological brain with all kinds of knowledge. Knows everything. No problem in the world is difficult for him. But now it can't search for the prisoner's location. Researchers think it's a psychological problem, but Bob refused to admit it. Immediately investigated all the information about Lee including some dark history, very resistant to her counseling for himself. Lee was disgusted, throw up directly, but when she thought of the bombing suspect, likely to commit a crime at Christmas, so she stayed. In the evening, Lee went back to her place to rest. Bob took the initiative to call her, hacked into all the electronic devices in the house, talked to her abruptly, trying to get rid of her, analyzing her mind. Lee felt her privacy was being invaded, asked him to leave. Instead, he moved to the TV in the room, visualized an image to continue talking to her. Lee turned off the TV in anger. Bob moved to the electric light outside the window again, controlling the light to shine on her. And before leaving, Bob turned on the fire extinguishing water source and locked the door tightly. Lee was sprayed with water all over her head and face. Everything cannot be used. Stayed in the toilet all night in a mess. The next morning, although she was an hour late, she still came for treatment and didn't sue Bob. This made him look at her in a different light. But there is no apology. Bob keep joking around, refusing to answer questions seriously, and used his powerful technology. Feel free to violate the privacy of any person. Lee through the guidance of good and gentle, eventually found that he was confused about his job. Providing information on the one hand, eliminating dangerous criminals on the other hand, but also hurt a lot of innocent people. Although he didn't kill them himself, he always feels sorry for them. There are billions of people on earth. He knows the pain and secrets of all people. He feels compassion for the human human race, but he can't do anything about it. He can only keep watching. He is more than a brain. He also has a heart. He wants everyone to be happy. After understanding the cause of the problem, Bob's program got a lot better. He saw the exploding prisoners again and knew the reason why he was stuck. That was on that day in the subway. There were a lot of sad people. They were all suffering from not being able to be together with family at Christmas. It was painful to watch, but he cannot shed tears. Only self-consciousness. This time, he finally found the location of the bomber. But still a step too late. The subway was blown up. Instantly more families in pain. Bob was also out of order. The whole head is smoking. And because of this failure to do his job, Bob was dismissed from his job. The program had to be shut down because its behavior caused a lot of discontents and it was as easy for them as shutting down a computer. In the end, Bob wanted to talk to Lee. After all, she was one of the few friends he had. Now that he was going to die, it's right to see each other. Lee asked him what he wished for. I did not expect him to want the world to really have Santa Claus to help him. Lee found the researcher, restarted the program, because tonight he's been fired. There were no terms to bind him. He could do whatever he wanted. So Bob really did become Santa Claus, hacking into devices all over the world, using technology to control a lot of drones, spending financial resources, delivering all kinds of gifts to ordinary people, fulfilling their wishes. These gifts are not expensive, but they contain Bob's friendship with human beings, seeing them all smiling, no more pain. His wish is also fulfilled. He also succeeded in helping the government to catch the criminals. He finished his work satisfactorily. Soon the directors were here. They were criticizing them for running the program for Bob on their own, and the direct cost of $200 billion. Bob argued that he not only solved America's economic problems, boosted spending, and caught the bad guys, it's a way to make up for his mistakes. Tell them to let Lee and the others go. After all, he can easily detonate a nuclear weapon. Leaders also dare not do anything to him. Only obedient. Gather the staff. Drink together to celebrate Christmas Eve. Send him one last ride. Later. 
Li was finally able to take a vacation, return to her hometown after a long absence. She had a happy Christmas with his family. Well, that's the end of today's story. If you like it, please like and subscribe.